It is an era of turbulence. A time of uncertainty. The world is changing. Kingdoms emerge and prepare for war. Welcome to Fantasia. Greetings and salutations. What's happening, everybody? This is Klautos here. Welcome back to another chapter of Fantasia. This is chapter 20, which is pretty awesome. A little, little milestone uh, episode here. Um, yeah, you see that down there? I decreased my render distance just a little bit. Uh, not sure how I feel about that, but it does seem to make my screen a little smoother, even though I've been getting like 120 frames per second anyway. Uh, it wasn't suffering. I don't know, but it seems to seems to look smoother. Uh, I hope the camera picks it up okay. Anyway, uh, we're here in the subscriber hall because there are some people that I would like to add to the wall. And let's start right here with Gaming Thistle, who has been a supporter for a very long time and has left tons of comments. I really, really appreciate all your support. Very, very much. And number two, we're going to add Callus Gaming as well. He is a uh, friend of mine over on the Twitter, and he also has some pretty epic builds in Minecraft on his YouTube channel. So if you want to see some more epicness, uh, he's got a world he's building that looks pretty incredible. So uh, go check it out. Anyway, yeah. Thanks to both of you for all the support. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. So, what are we going to do today in Fantasia in our Goblin Kingdom? Well, we're, we're getting pretty close to the end here. Uh, we've got most of this area done here. And, yeah, we started to go into the walls a little bit. Uh, we still have to go up the walls all the way up there to the top. So all of these bridges are gonna have little little houses. They all attach to these little enclaves. And on each of those enclaves are gonna be houses. And I'm probably also gonna dot some houses in the walls. So like maybe there'll be tunnels going into the wall where you can get into some of those houses. Uh, so that's, once we do that, this place will be pretty much done. Um, but for now, you know what? I really wanna move this house. Every time I come down here, I, I, I squeeze through this, and I don't like it. I don't like the way it feels. I could come around here. It feels a little nicer, but it's kind of going out, out of the way a bit. I'm going to see about moving this maybe in this episode. I'll probably just world edit. Just copy, paste it over. Uh, I'm not afraid to cheat, you guys. I do. <laughs> I mean, come on. You kind of have to when you have a full-time job, and you're also building an epic Minecraft world. So... In the last episode, we took it out of Peaceful, so now we have friends we can punch in the face. <laughs> um, yeah, in the last episode, we did this. We got started on the... Uh, I need to fix... I need to put some stairs here. Uh, we got started on the... What I'm calling the Dragon's Chamber here, with all these houses going around... And then they also come down here and it goes all the way down. It sort of spirals down to the bottom there. And, oh, it's over here. This is going to be a house. <laughs> I've got a lot of building to do with this episode. So we started on them. In the last episode, we just did these, these posts and sort of just got the general shape. And this one I'm pretty excited about because it's wider than any house I've built yet in this world. Because uh, this stone here, I mentioned this in the last last episode, the stone here had this really nice curve, and so I wanted to have a house that sort of filled it in, filled it in nicely and was just sort of nestled in there, so uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to building that one. Um, yeah, I think I got, I don't think I got the frames built on all of them. I know I got the posts done all the way down. Let's just, yeah, I stopped right here. So the posts stop here, or the uh, the frames stop here, but the posts go all the way down to, I think, here? Yeah, this is the bottom. Essentially the bottom. 
Um, and then this is where they, they've been mining. So, uh, I got a lot of building to do. We got to do this floor. We got lots, lots, lots to do. So, I'm going to go ahead and do it off camera so I can just zone in. I'm going to put on some music. I like to do that when I build, you know? I'll put on like a documentary or some music or something and just go to town. I've been listening a lot to uh, the Skyrim soundtrack, <laughs> which is really, it's making me want to play Skyrim all over again. But I just don't have time to play Skyrim. I want to play Skyrim, but I don't have the time. I got to build this. So, yeah, I think I'm going to put that on. I'm going to get some work done. And, ooh, there's Nenderman. He's going to destroy my goblin city. Ooh, he looks cool in this texture pack. That's the first Enderman I've seen with the conquest texture. Whoa, he glows. Oh, look at him. He looks awesome. Wow. What's the name of the guy who does this? Monster Fish. Monster Fish. Well done, dude. <laughs> well done. These Endermen look awesome. Holy crap. Well, spooky. <laughs> okay, y'all. I'll see you back in just a second. All right, y'all. I'm back, and I have moved the house. So I no longer have to squeeze by there. Now I come this way. And it's just, it's so much better. So much better. Uh, I had to change that roof just a little bit and redo this, but you know what? It fits well. I like it. I'm happy with it. I hope you're happy with it too. And coming up here, it's uh, no longer right in front of you. So you only have to move over just a little bit. So yeah, I like it. Came out nicely. It's in a good position, I think, compositionally from back here. Kind of just pokes through. Yeah. It's not perfectly in line with this one, right? Very good, very good. Okay, so what have I done off camera? That only took like a second, so that was nothing. But uh, thoroughly enjoyed the Skyrim soundtrack. There's this one song in particular. Uh, oh, what's it called? Um... I can't remember. It starts with an S. It's one word, starts with an S, like soul. It's not soul time. Oh, I've, I can't remember. Maybe in the next clip I'll look it up and I'll tell you guys what it is. Um, anyway, so here's what we did. Check this out. Check out these houses. I like them. And they're all different. They're all different in their own little unique ways. Which is something I'm going for here. I don't, I don't copy and paste any of these. These are all built block by block. So I'm not totally cheaty, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I like them. I like the way they came out. See, this one has three. Yeah? This is that big one I was talking about in the, the last episode. So some special goblin has to live here. Don't know who. Don't know what he is. But that's where he lives. Here's this house here. The, uh, the old school style house. Oh, black spike. Sorry about that. I'm just, I'm just looking. It's very dark in here. I need a, I need some fire out here somewhere. Let's, can we put a fire in this? Yeah, we can. No, we can't. Yeah, we, no. Yeah, let's, you know what? Let's put a fire right here. Let's do that. No, we can't. Darn it. No, that's going to screw it up. It is awfully dark though. Hmm. Where could, you know what? Screw it. Whatever. It's a goblin city. It can be dark in places. This. In the last episode, I mentioned how I wanted to hollow out. Let me fly so you guys can see this thing. I love the shape of this column. It's all crooked and jagged and janky. I like it a lot. I want to hollow it out and turn it into sort of an apartment building and have a bunch of little houses poking out of it, right? So here's going to be the entrance to it. So I'm going to have to, like, totally hollow all this out and carve out stairs and different rooms and stuff like that. So yeah, there's going to be windows lighting up this whole column here. I think that's going to be really cool. Um, I might be able to do that in this episode. I don't know. Uh, probably, probably. I think I'm only, you know, I'm only like, what, five minutes into the episode? I don't know. Um, hi, Parthenax. You're not dead to me. You still live in my heart, Parthenax. <laughs> sniff, sniff. Okay, 
Uh, yeah, let me show you some of the other houses. These, these are... I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting faster at building these, I gotta say. You know, it used to take me, you know, 30 minutes to build one. Now, I can, I'm kind of just zipping through them. Now, then again, I haven't done any of the interiors. Okay, so that's something I still have to do. But, but check out the, whoa, let's not fall. Let's not fall, let's not do that. Yeah, look at that. See that, how it's just sort of nestled under those rocks like that? I think that looks really cool. I like it a lot. And then this one here is on a corner. I like the corner ones. The corner ones always end up looking cool. I don't know. Maybe it's because the flags are, are at an angle, you know, to the entrance. Something like that. Something to do with that, probably. <laughs> yeah, I like them. There's some tall ones, too, I made. This one's kind of tall. This one has an interesting front here with the two bits sticking out like that. I don't think I've ever done that before. Uh, what is this thing hanging here? Why isn't that lit up? Let's see if we can fix that. Phew. No, still dark. Oh well, I don't care. It can stay that way. We have a couple little ones here. These guys really like their skulls. <laughs> and so does this guy. Now he doesn't get any banners. Oh, he does. He gets one here. That's right. Because he doesn't have a thing sticking out from the door. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, I like it. I like it. So this area no longer feels dry and barren. Ooh, that's a nice screenshot right there. Let's, let's, yeah, there we go. I'm taking that. That looks nice. Uh, yeah, I like this place now. I like being down here now. It's excellent. Here I am tooting my own horn from my bills. I hate doing that. I don't mean to do it. But it's just, this is what I wanted to see <laughs> and I'm happy that I get to see it uh, yeah so we need to do the interiors of all these but you know what I don't think I'm gonna do that right now I think I'm probably just gonna do that off camera in between episodes because I am a bit burnt out on all of these and I want to get up to that where is it that's up there I want to get back up to the pillar and start carving that out. I think we're gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of the episode. If I can get, man, this, it doesn't look that big from up top, but it's a long, it's a long walk going up here. Where are we at? You know what, let's just fly. There we go, here. <laughs> okay, this is the thing, this is the thing. You know what? I think I'm going to do this in a live stream. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, why not? Okay, I'll see you guys in just a second. Or a little bit. Maybe I'll see you on stream. But this is what I did right before I streamed, for those of you who saw the stream. This is what I was doing. This is what I was saying. And yeah, I don't, I don't know. Okay, I'll see you in a second. <laughs> Hey y'all, I'm back. Uh, I had a bit of a live stream. I didn't get the complete thing finished, but here I am walking in circles. Because I just want to make you dizzy. <laughs> uh, check it out, this is what we did. So now, I've, I've hollowed out most of it. Uh, there's still probably a lot that I could do. But uh, for now, you can get from each of these windows to the other. And I even was able to get some of them uh, decorated in the goblin style uh, before the stream was over. I didn't get around to doing this side, but yeah, those look really cool. I like looking at them from down here, because this is where you're going to see them, mostly, from down here. Uh, I wanted to get those two done by the end of the stream. I tried. I tried real hard. I failed. But that's okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm just about done building for today. I've got to get to work. Uh, but before I do that, um, I wanted to check something out. Uh, I was talking to um, Germsy Boy, and he does the, the texture pack for the Realm of Aston and a, a bunch of other worlds, and, he's, uh, and his own world, which is really, really cool. You should go check it out. But uh, yeah, he gave me a copy of his texture pack that's... 1.12 compatible so I wanted to 
take a minute and check it out and just sort of see see how things look so let's go ahead and do that real quick I'm gonna pop it on and then uh, we will see how Fantasia looks with a little taste of germ okay here we are and I like it it's very much it reminds me much of the B-dubs texture pack with the black uh, nether brick fence that's that's really cool I like the way the textures connect I like this how it's not it's not just you know even like on the on the B-dubs texture I have that one too the connected textures go out four of these squares and then these two are kind of staggered back and forth this one it kind of goes in like that this one goes all the way down to the bottom and then we have this corner here that's cool it's broken up I, I really like that I, I appreciate that a lot because <laughs> that's one thing that drove me nuts about the other texture pack but yeah that that looks really good I like it I like it and those stones are just sort of popping out of the wall there now very cool very cool yeah I like it I like the wood look <clears throat> look at what the <clears throat> pardon me I'm a little congested that wood looks really cool like from a distance it looks like I mean and this is what you're supposed to do with the wood textures but Germsy dude you pulled this off better than Mojang or, or Gappa because look look how the wood texture it looks like this layer of wood is underneath this one or not underneath but like back a little bit like it has some it looks like it has depth like it has relief to it and you get up you get up close you realize that's just a, a shading illusion but from a distance man those wood planks look really really good I like them a lot I think a lot of it has to do with the contrast between this dark line here and then the brightest line in the textures right above it that that's cool I really like it well done germs this is awesome so I've been thinking about once I get out of the Goblin Kingdom here I'm gonna I'm, I'm definitely not gonna do it while I'm in here uh, or I might I don't know I don't know the thing okay the thing about it is that like even in this texture pack the fire gives off white light you see it's white light everywhere but that's that's not the color of firelight firelight is yellow and that's one thing I really like about the conquest texture pack is that or I should say resource pack I guess is that the light given off by fire is yellow it's like orangey yellow and it just makes it look more natural so I don't know how easy it is to change that uh, so I don't know germs if you're watching this uh, I mean I don't know maybe maybe you did that in 1.13 version of the resource pack I don't know but uh yeah, that would, man, if, if, if you did that, then I think I would be able to use this texture pack down in here. I really like the way this looks. I like it a lot. Very cool. And thanks for sending me this texture pack. I, I appreciate it. Uh, nice to try it out. It looks great. And I like the way those look up in there. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get a little bit more building done. Uh, not today, because it's work time for me, so, uh, but yeah, I'll be back with you guys, it'll probably be tomorrow, or maybe the day after, who knows, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll be back with you guys once I have a little bit more done on this column here. Uh, check out what we did, look at that, we got little houses poking out of it now, we got, well, the main entrance, and we got one, two, three, yeah, three, four, five, six, I think yeah six houses let's fly fly okay one two three four five six yeah I didn't do these two on stream I did these afterwards uh, but I had run out of time for the stream uh, also in, in the last clip um, when I had uh, Jermsey's textures on uh, I had confused myself I thought he sent me the textures but no I went and got them and uh, yeah, <laughs> and then I hit him up to make sure I downloaded the right one and, and this and that. Uh, 
and to see if like it was uh, updated for the 1.13 and etc. Anyway, I got confused. It wasn't Jermsey that sent me the texture pack. It was Fix It who had sent me a shader pack. That's what it was. I, I confuse myself sometimes. <laughs> but I, I put the shaders on and I'm not going to do it here on camera because I have a feeling it's just going to crash the computer or make the make the recording real choppy so I'm, I'm not going to do that but he gave me uh, a copy of a, a CUDA shader uh, texture or shader pack and it's an older one but it makes the interior look really nice when I, when I when I put shaders on in here everything gets black everything is super dark except for right by the fire the only place that's lit up is like maybe this close to the fire that's it everything else like this right here black you wouldn't be able to see anything <laughs> so uh yeah i really wish i could do shaders in here but that cuda pack that he sent me actually made the place look really good so i don't know maybe in the next episode i'll try decreasing the uh render distance or something so i can get a better frame rate with the packs on maybe i'll try to get them in a video for you guys uh so you can see how they look they actually look pretty good um anyway uh so yeah, so we built these six houses. So now this actually has something to look at. Now, it's not just a column of rock. And uh, we came in here, the first thing I did was hollow all of this out. And I'm probably gonna have ladders. I know, ladders. I don't like ladders, I think they're cheesy. I'd much rather have stairs. If I can fit stairs in here, I will. But I just have a feeling that a lot of this is gonna be ladder now of course it is a goblin city so I might be able to do the stairs and just have them really really narrow you know close quarters which kind of makes sense for a goblin city um, yeah I don't know that's something that I'll, I'll probably work out in between episodes or maybe maybe in the next one uh, we'll do the interior of this thing I haven't yet done this side of it and I'm really looking forward to doing this side because I love this this shape here that it makes it has sort of this nice s curve and at the same time oh fly at the same time it's nice and flat here it's real flat which is going to be nice for building uh, i don't know i'm imagining something kind of like uh let me just let me just whip out a bit of a a bit of a thing here uh if we go maybe so and this is just you know real quick um Something, oh wait, you know what, we can't do that because these won't attach. But you know what, maybe something something like that, like it's 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 supported, you know, like a little little platform just sort of sticking out there. Do something like that and then we'll have like a little, little roof up there. Yeah, we'll do something like these, like the regular houses that we do around them, but these are gonna have these sort of, uh, uh, platforms that the goblins can stand on coming out of life those are gonna end up looking really cool but I think I'm gonna do that in the next episode or uh, in between episodes or whatever you'll see that next time so anyway that's about all the time I got for this episode you guys thank you very much for for checking it out and I hope you enjoyed it we got a lot done today and wow I am really liking the way the dragon chamber is looking it's pretty much done I'd say um, might go through and add a, add a few more things here and there, but for the most part, we can call this this area done. Uh, and we can start working on building all the houses, going all the way up to the top there, all over these walls. <laughs> so that's, that's the main thing. And then once that's done, we're going to be pretty much done with the Goblin Kingdom and ready to go outside to begin the next kingdom. And uh, I'm still trying to decide what kingdom I want to do next. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards just human because I just, I want to build a big castle. I love building castles. Castles are fun. They're always fun. They're, they're fun to build. They're fun to look at. And no two castles are alike. They're always different. That's what I, I like about them. You know, like a, a, a regular, like medieval house. I mean... I'm sure there's probably a whole bunch of ways to do it, you know, but there's only a few ways you can do it that look good, you know, but a castle, a castle is so big and there's so many ways you can do it. It's just, yeah, I might just, just go human or elven. I don't know. I've got a really cool, uh, spot picked out for the elven 
city or for one of the elven kingdoms. Um, I don't plan on just making one elven kingdom and one human kingdom and one orc kingdom. There's going to be many. I mean, this, this is my forever world. I'm going to be building in this world as long as my channel exists. I will not start another world. This is it. <laughs> so if I feel like building another human city later on, I'm going to do that. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so that's going to be it for this episode, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a big favor and go hit the like button and let me know. I really, really, really appreciate it. And subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one.